Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Paulie Jr. here. Welcome back to Cube World with yours truly, Maggot the Level 4 Mage. Hey, buddy, you got ants in your pants back there? DeSandra looks like he wants to go. Uh, Alright, go. Let's go. Yeah, let's get moving. So, we're back uh, playing some Cube World. We're going to talk about some of the things we know. Hey, guys, wait up! <laughs> I'm trying to travel with this uh, group of wizards. We just ran into them. Uh, me and Ollie here. Or Ollie and I, I should say. Ollie is, of course, our collie pet. Oh, hold on. Hold on, what do we got here? Oh, we have an iron deposit. Grab that iron, and I got something else, didn't I? I got some kind of glowy mushroom. Cool, cool little dungeon here. Yeah, we have a shimmer mushroom. Not sure what those are used for, but uh, I hear a lot of feet. Oh, there's a bat in here. Get him, Ollie. Easy peasy. All right, you drop nothing, you drop nothing. Um, I have a new, a couple of new... Sh spells by the way i've got this mana shield that i just got at level four and i also have a an explosion spell so if something gets too close i can explode or at least cast that spell i don't actually explode and it sends them uh sends them packing does some damage let me show it to you I'll try it on this radishling here here he comes sometimes it knocks him down oh dang it he already fell anyway <laughs> he tripped on something and a radish slice that's so delicious when you cook it with mushrooms on a mushroom on a uh, campfire. Make a nice mushroom spit. I think it's radish. Okay, now we'll demonstrate. There we go. That's my explosion. It is super sweet. And this guy is just a beast. Old maggot here with the maggoty hair. Um, he does some serious damage, but he can't take a lot of damage, unfortunately. He's definitely a glass cannon. I think we're going to get both of these guys, aren't we? Oh, we sure are indeed. And BAM! Oops, he did not knock him back that time. Ooh, cast your mana spell. Mana shield will protect us for a moment or two. I think that's how it works. And there we go. What do, oh, 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 guys, a staff. Shabby wood wand. Power 20. Well, that's a little too high a level for me. But we'll hang on to it for the future. What else we have here? Yeah, nothing that I can use. Oh, wait a second. What is this? Oh, I've been carrying this thing around, right? I think I bought this in town. Um, it does more damage, has a higher tempo, better crit. All right, yeah, let's swap that out. Oh, it looks nice too, doesn't it? Yes, that looks definitely a little more intimidating than my uh, my stick that I was using. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about some new stuff today. We talked about some new skills and things of the classes that will be coming in the Steam edition of, uh, of Cube World, which should be coming out sometime in September, October, and today we're going to talk about um, the map and the world, some of the changes that we know about, and I think we're going to take on this bumblebee. I bet we can take him, even though he's orange. I got my new staff, and oh, there he goes. Oh, no, I got him. I got him. Here he comes. Oh, he's flying. Eh, I don't think my doggy can get him. Come on, Ollie. No, I did not knock him down. Drat. Let's cast another shield spell, which is super nice. Now oh, we got him easy peasy. Plus seven experience. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, let's go over to... Let's head over to the Likasul Lake. Should be a boss there we can fight. See what kind of boss we got. And like I said, we'll talk about uh, the map and the stuff. Let me just get my notes together. All right, guys. Here we are at the lake shore. It's a lovely place. Oh, gosh. I think I hit every single one of those crabs, didn't I? <laughs> here they come. Boom. Get wrecked, crabby. Oh, there's something over here that's spitting at us. It's a spitter, of course. Oh, let's get leftovers here. we got to grab those leftovers. We are just wrecking these guys. What the heck was that? It's spitting at me. Um, let's see. What do we get? This is a licorice candy. Ooh, that's a pet food. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to tame. And then leftovers is essentially um, some kind of stomach content. So we can... Uh, oh, boy. Elves. Bad elves. we got bad elves up here. Three of them. I don't think we can take three bad elves. Uh, yeah, so the pet food can be, the, the leftovers rather, can be brought back to town and uh, examined cl more closely <laughs> by someone with a magnifying glass, and they'll, uh, we'll, we'll get something out of that. Alright, one more alpaca here, and then uh, I think I'm going to look into this licorice and see what exactly, which pet that can tame. Because um, I have a couple of pet foods here. We have now licorice, we have a ginger tartlet, which is for a parrot. And we need to go to a jungle biome for that. Bubble gum is, I think, the collie, right? And then the yellow jelly is for a slime. 
and I have not seen any slimes yet because they're at a, in a different biome. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you a bunch of screenshots about the landscapes in the world. So basically, there's two new landscapes coming. One is called the Deadlands, and another one is the uh, Savannah. And each one of those will have a new, a new town, a new village style, along with uh, some new critters and stuff, some new monsters uh, within each one of those biomes. So I'm going to put up some images. We've got a, I think a lion. Oh, no, dude, pick that up, dude. <laughs> I'm shooting everything. Uh, shoot first, ask questions later with this guy. Um, we have a lion, we have zebras, we have, I think I saw a rhino. And what else? Elephants. Yes, elephants. It's going to be awesome. They're, I'm sure they're all rideable. No, the, most of the bigger creatures in this game are rideable. So that should be pretty cool to ride a rhino or an, or a, uh, an elephant or even a lion for that matter. Um, so, yeah, that's the savanna. And again, I'll put a bunch of pictures up so you guys can take a look at that. Um, what else do we have? We have new dungeons. There's going to be underground dungeons, apparently. And they'll have secret entrances, so you're going to have to track down those secret entrances. And, um, I guess, uh, they'll be marked. In some cases, they'll be marked by a discoloring on the ground. And there is a picture of that as well that we'll uh, post it up. I'll put that down. So you need a bomb to blast your way through the, uh, discolored area. And that'll lead down to some hidden dungeon. And apparently there's going to be a whole network of underwater, uh, underwater, underground caverns. And dungeon. It's gonna be a whole new world down there. Well, what do we got here? A lemon beetle. Ooh, tasty. Let's get them. Um, so yeah, that, so there's a couple of new features. The um, apparently the Deadlands is gonna be kind of a dark, nasty place, and it's gonna be filled with evil. But I, I suppose there is a uh, there's a picture of a town there. There will be a town in the Deadlands, and it's gonna be a friendly town as far as I can tell. Um, and again, I'll put some pictures up of that. What else is there? Oh, hold up. Hold up. We got there's someone running through the woods over here. Friendly? Oh, it's a no. It's a friendly Ganol. Let's go say hello. Oh, yeah. It's a no bold. It's a no bold. Never call a no bold a no. They really, really don't like it. Hi, no bold. Yes, yeah, help me out here with this. Ooh, she's a puncher, isn't she? <laughs> Thanks for the backup, Arutar. Oh, boy. We got onions coming. Let's blast them. Boom. All right. Oh, gosh. Who's this? Uh, oh, you're helping? What are you shooting at me for? Shoot at them. <laughs> I just saw that guy in the corner of my eye. I thought it was a goner. It's a wizard. A traveling wizard all by himself. All right. Well, uh, let's stick together, pal. Um, so anyway, getting back to the landscapes. The uh, a landscape is essentially a biome by another name, right? So we're, we know them as biomes from, say, Minecraft, but it is essentially the same thing. It's just what Wole calls them. And uh, there's already a whole bunch of new, there's a whole bunch of biomes in the game, but we're gonna get those two new ones, the Deadlands and the, uh, the Savannah, which is gonna be awesome. Um, so each landscape apparently is gonna have its own power level. So you'll be able to choose where you wanna go based on what, whatever level you are. And they're gonna be smaller and easier to travel to and fro. And they will be designated on the map. And I'll put a link, uh, an image up that shows you what they look like. So apparently there's going to be like a question mark or something um, indicating where the biomes are. And you should be able to tell anyway, just because they're going to look a little different from the other biomes, right? Um, speaking of the map, the world map has been reworked apparently quite a bit. Um, it's not going to cover the whole screen. And I'm trying to read and shoot at the same time. And <laughs> Not very easy since I'm a ranged character. Uh, let's see. Undiscovered landscapes. Biomes are now visible on the map. I just talked about that. When you zoom in, you can see landscape borders and locations like villages, dungeons, etc. That you have that you have uh, discovered. They'll show up as icons. And I think I have an image of that. Oh my gosh, three elves. Should we take them? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's not. Let's not try. And say we did. Uh, what else? Yeah, so when you die, you're going to see a small tombstone on the map. Oh, look at this. An undead mage. How you doing, buddy? Are you a mage? Oh, no, you're a ranger. Yes, definitely a ranger. Yeah, let me give you a hand, pal. Let me give you a hand. Oh. Nice shooting. Hey, six experience. Not too shabby. Hey, we should stick together, you and I. Huh? We make a pretty good tea. What do you say? Eh? Eh? Eh. Doesn't say much. Yeah, hopefully the NPCs have more to say out here. Um, and we'll get to that in another video about the questing and how 
you will acquire quests. But today, I just want to focus on the uh, landscape and the map, etc. So, let's see. Yeah, the quest area is going to be displayed on the map when the quest log is opened. Um, so, that's a map feature. And you'll be able to see that when you bring up your map. So, you know where you're going. It's pretty common in games like this. New cities are going to be added that are much larger. And they're going to have new um, new structures inside. Like I've seen pictures of a gazebo and a fountain. And uh, I'm assuming there's going to be other new buildings there as well. Oh, no sleeping bag here? Drat. Got a real nice camp here. It has a sleeping bag. And I'm going to just face plant and take a quick nap, get healed up again. And there's an ogre in the woods over here. I'd love to take him on, but I don't think... Oh, gosh. No, don't... Oh, that was my friend. That was the undead archer friend that just got wrecked. What the heck is this? Is that a bear of some kind? Oh, it's a boss! Let's get him! Maybe we can help this guy with the boss. Well, don't die, okay, elf? Because that would be very bad for me. Oh, I think that guy's gonna die. I think that guy's gonna die. <laughs> Keep tanking, kid! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Ollie, get him! That guy is uh, punching the snot out of the thing, huh? That's a big sheep. Holy smoke, that thing's enormous. 26 experience for that sheep. Laluna. I like those uh, those bracelets. You're like Wonder Woman. <laughs> She's pretty tough. Now, unfortunately, that thing didn't drop anything, huh? Oh, it did. It dropped an ice spirit plus 14. We can attach that to our weapon to give it some kind of a special attack or something. I forget. Um, that's weird. Just ran into a, a named sheep. Uh, which means it probably belonged to somebody. We better get out of here before the farmer shows up. Um, anyway. So, yeah, the city's gonna be added. New structures. Uh, you're gonna be able to teleport between towns and villages and cities now, too. Which is gonna be super nice because traveling in this game is... Well, it's for the birds. Um, it's not easy to get around, so that is really going to be a tremendous help. Of course, you can you can ride pets. Yay, we leveled up. But you have to level up pet riding uh, five times. And we're going to do it twice right now. So, yeah, I'd love to ride a pet. Although, what is that right there? Teleport. Oh, I can teleport. You teleport to the selected location. But that's, like, nearby teleport. You can, I don't think you can go super far. Hang gliding is nice, too. Pet riding is pretty nice. Uh, well, let's put one in pet, and then I'm going to bump up my mana shield a little bit as well. All right, good enough. We'll spread it around a little bit. I'm going to kill some more horses. They do give pretty good experience. Oh, there we go. My uh, my mana shield absorbed a hit right there. i got to use that more often. I forget about it. Ollie's not much of a tank. He has a difficulty acquiring aggro. <laughs> but... Hopefully someday we can get a better tank, like a turtle. I know turtles are pretty good tanks. They have shells, and they're super tough. They can take a ton of hits, obviously, because they're turtles. They don't do a lot of damage, but this guy, Maggot, does a lot of damage by himself, so he doesn't really need a high damage pet. Just need a strong tank. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I said we can teleport, right? You will be teleported to a resurrection statue somewhere near the target player. Oh, you can teleport to players in multiplayer as well. Right. So you can teleport to towns and cities once you've discovered them, obviously. And you can teleport to other players. That is quite awesome. Yeah, I always forget that this is actually a multiplayer game because I don't play multiplayer. Um, I have in the past, my son, and we had a lot of fun with this game. And we'll probably play it together in the future. Alright, what else is there? I think that's it, guys. Let me just look through my notes here. Oh, road signs! Yeah, there's going to be signs on the roads to tell you where uh, where places are. Points of interest. Ooh, who's this little feller? Looks like uh, a nobold or a, a, a knoll. Oh, that's a real knoll. You can call that guy knoll, just don't call him a nobold. And look at this chicken! Well, 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 we found the spies here hiding in the woods up to no good. What is that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's killing chickens. I like you. <laughs> Let's be friends, pal. I hate chickens, too. All right, guys, I think we're done for now. That's about all the information I have about the world and the map and the, uh, the landscapes. But we'll, um, we'll come back in the next episode and take a look at quests 
and questing and all that because there's a lot of new stuff in that respect and I am not going to take on four evil humans but I am going to follow this river down to a dungeon which is probably too high for us because it's red catacombs of Varrock but I might just poke my nose in and see what's up and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode so stay tuned oh here it is right here I know you want me to go in don't you but I'm afraid it's way more uh, way high level oh my gosh ow that hurt yes that hurt there's two guardians right out front a wizard and a ranger and look at that guy shoot he shot Ollie one shot Ollie's just about dead <laughs> no he did kill Ollie oh you ow right in the butt all right I gotta run I gotta run okay I think we lost them oh no we didn't hear they come just gonna keep running oh there they go okay they're turning around you better run if you know uh, ow Hey, who is this? Squirrel? Holy smokes, look at this little squirrel. Oh my gosh, he's tough. Ollie, help. All right, I gotta get, Ollie's gotta get the uh, the aggro here and then I can do my damage. So this is how, look at him punching at me. He's punching me. Come on, Ollie, get him. Crazy squirrel. He's too fast for Ollie. He's not gonna get aggro, is he? There we go, we got him down. Dang, tree rodent, die. Only nine experience for that beating I just took from a squirrel? Holy smokes, they're fast. I want one. I want to tame a squirrel. They're pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder if we can ride a squirrel. Hmm. Something to ponder. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.